Oh! Oh, dang it! It's... how do I... Wait. <laughs> hold, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Has this always been here? There's no way. I'll have to go back in the in the footage and see, because there is no actual way <laughs> to know. Close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, <laughs> you'll collect the last one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. <laughs> Figler <time>. and Marines. <laughs> that... I feel like you could go back one or two and uh, have a better <laughs> better one than that. I want to check out what this is. I saw this earlier. Some kind of... Ve oh! I am so very uncomfortable now. <laughs> What is all of this? Oh gosh, I know those, uh, <laughs> I know those, that clip art. Striped Shirt Savage is tearing off my arm out. Beware of the referee of pain. <laughs> Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path. Yeah, no kidding. The office had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office oh. had begun shot so far off the beaten path. And it seemed the officer had begun shot so far off the beaten path. What in the world? The officer had begun shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the officer had begun. Wow. You didn't think I was actually recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between all right, you, you got and me. me. All the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main <laughs> character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate <laughs> storytelling. It must be Sometimes, so simple to be you. If they build it up right. Being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. <laughs> How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. <laughs> I've become sad. Look what you've done. You okay? To me. This is all your fault. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just kicking me out for that, huh? Well, all right then. <laughs> you too, guy. Wow, I gotta start keeping track of all these endings I'm racking up. Uh, hold on a minute while I jump ahead. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Surprise. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait. Oh, was there... I, I looked away for a moment, because I was just laughing. <laughs> so, going to... Uh, oh, you know what? I... I should try pressing the uh, the up uh, button again on the elevator. See if uh, what happens when it tries taking me up. I forgot that like there's two things I wanted to do down here. So that's our first one. Can I back out of this? Uh, never mind. Stanley actually <laughs> went into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that? <laughs> well, he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office. Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. <laughs> Am I just about to ride the elevator for a bit? This was, uh... I'm gonna take a look inside really quick and see if anything's different, but... That, uh... Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. <laughs> exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision <laughs> you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the part <laughs> of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that key eye for storytelling that <laughs> you have. He's so upset with me. rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, <laughs> weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I'm getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies I think 
How does he keep coming up with all of this? <laughs> there is something on here called the elevator ending. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky <laughs> corridor? No. It's time once again. Oh, I can actually see the mind the control elevator. facility sign down I can't there. Even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what? It's <laughs> the boss's office this time. The suspense is killing me. Him being upset is possibly my favorite part of this whole game. I don't want to talk. I just want to hear him just disgusted with me. Oh, okay. Like, just making sure there is nothing else up here. <laughs> Might be jumping the gun on that, but... <laughs> oh it's the boss's office. <laughs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this. <laughs> this is the second most fun I've ever had riding elevators. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. And I'll tell I'm you the first in a minute. Stunning <laughs> revelation and to move forward with no, no wait, <laughs> no. I need more time to process. <laughs> so basically, as a kid, I rode an elevator in a mall up and down and pretended to be a, a like a service. Elevator serviceman just every time the doors open. First floor, what was it? First floor, Hawkins Theater. <laughs> Second floor, Macy's. And <laughs> like just pretending to let people on and off. All right. It was fun. <laughs> I have fully come to terms with it. Got a lot of I laughs out of it. Space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, <laughs> I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Oh. Master Stanley. I can get used to that. <laughs> All right, well, to the elevator. Of course, going back down. The <laughs> How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 <laughs> seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. <laughs> I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. <laughs> that has grown stale and repetitive, huh? <laughs> He's got nothing to say to me anymore. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. <laughs> It's the anticipation, Stanley. <laughs> you and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator, but the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating, see it up there. and having to guess, that's the real thrill. <laughs> We're doing an oh, elevator I episode. Don't that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and smooth? <laughs> He's punishing me for this. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently <laughs> as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. You're the telling me that Five Nights at Freddy's isn't popular? <laughs> to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think, <laughs> and to anticipate, and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative another bucket over there. in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who <laughs> took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. <gasps> Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like <laughs> anything else out there. You see, I want the thing is, surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. whether or not I want to be engaged, the office has changed up there. We're being we built it up very well, and I actually am excited. <laughs> it, which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. 
because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know. People look up to you. Which is really? why oh, I didn't know when to spring this on you, but well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. So you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Oh my gosh. I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. No really way. Look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind <laughs> of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. <laughs> okay. So oh, I got a press conference. conference. Should be just around the corner here somewhere. <laughs> this is so amazing. It's. I feel like it's just gonna be the office. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, yes, here it is. Just through this door. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be the office, but like, it is so built up. <laughs> right. Welcome, you Stanley. Ready? I've told them you're going to speak a Stanley little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling <laughs> and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay. It looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Oh. Oh, hot dog, there actually is a press conference. Wow. <laughs> what in the world? Look at all those dabbers. I see that guy dabbing up there in the front. Ah, oh, my people. <laughs> They're so happy for me. That was it. <laughs> I was so expecting. I was so expecting that to just be <laughs> to just be the office. It's it's so true though. It's so true. That was such a good ending. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, well, I think I'm gonna call that there. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. That was a total blast and a half. I loved it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still on the I'm I'm still a part of the the zoo level ARG, so I I've, I've been searching everywhere. <laughs> so, thank you all. I I'm loving this so much and I hope you are too and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.